do relatives always get the children placed with them? Well, yes and no. Hi, my name is Vince Davis. I'm an attorney here in California, and I represent parents and relatives throughout the state in juvenile dependency matters, otherwise known as CPS or DCFS cases. You're a relative, and you believe that children should be placed with you and not in foster care with strangers. Well, the law is that the children should be placed with relatives. But probably 40% of my business is representing relatives trying to get children out of foster care and placed in their homes. Why is that? Because in a great majority of cases, social workers aren't willing to place children in relatives' homes or are against placing children in relative homes. And the reasons, well, they vary. I could probably tell you a hundred different reasons why social workers, quote, unquote, do not follow the law. I want to illustrate a case for you. This is a real case in a county here in Southern California. Mom had come here uh, following a guy and they were living in a city in Southern California. They got involved in drugs, and of course CPS got involved and took the children, took the child, and took the child and placed the child in a foster home. And by from all accounts, the foster parents were very nice people. The problem was they weren't relatives and the child should have been placed with relatives. At the very first hearing, mom's sister flies from, I believe it was Indiana, to California and attends the first hearing and says, I'm a business owner, my husband is the principal of the local high school, we have our own children, and we want this child placed with us. Apparently the judge agreed and asked the social worker to start investigating. For more than 12 or 15 months, the social workers were investigating placement. The case approached what's called the 366.26 hearing, where they were going to terminate the parental rights, and then the relatives would not be relatives anymore. And it was the social worker's opinion that since the child had been placed there so many months, that it would be detrimental to remove the child from the foster parents and place the child with relatives out of state. So. The relatives then hired me, we had a big trial, and we proved that the social worker, through either intent and or negligence, never completed all of the steps in a timely basis to have the child placed with the relatives in another state. After the trial, the judge said, you know, basically, this is, you know, something that shouldn't happen, but the judge couldn't move or wouldn't move the child to the relative's home because the child had a physical, emotional, and psychological bond to the foster parents. The rights were terminated, the relatives flew back to their states, and the foster parents adopted the children. During conversations, I asked, you know, why the relatives waited so long to find me to try to go to court and get the child placed with them. And the answer was, well, we thought the social worker was going to do the right thing. We thought the social worker was going to follow the law. We thought the social worker was on our side. She seemed friendly. She always talked about having the child placed with us. But there was a hidden agenda. The hidden agenda was the social worker had no intention of placing this child outside the state of California. You know, if you're watching this video, you probably have questions. And I answer questions like this every day. If you have questions, call me. 888-888-6582. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like me on Facebook. And we'll see you in the next video.